Hi, I'm Helen. Hi, and I'm Kim. And we're clinical psychologists in Fresh Cams at Alderhay. It is Infant Mental Health Awareness Week this week from the 7th to the 12th of June. And we have made this short video to promote what infant mental health is and why it is important. So when we say the phrase infant mental health, I wonder what comes up in people's minds. An image of a perfectly happy, smiling baby maybe, or a baby very distressed, or a question as to how can a baby have mental health? Or maybe a thought that of course babies have mental health. Indeed, we all have mental health, including all babies. So infant mental health, describes the social and emotional well-being and development of children in the earliest years of life. It reflects whether babies have the secure and responsive relationships that they need to thrive. Infant mental health is all about relationships. Babies experience the same range of basic emotions as all of us. A baby can experience joy, sadness, fear or anxiety, anger, surprise, disgust, love and curiosity. Babies may not be able to communicate this in words as they have not yet developed the language skills, but they do communicate and show their emotions in other ways, through facial expressions, sounds, cries, body language and physically in their body. It's really important that we watch and tune into our baby's own ways of communicating. Understanding infant mental health involves understanding that a baby has emotions and that a baby's behaviour has meaning. Crucially, how these emotions and behaviours are seen, understood and responded to by the main caregivers, usually their parents, shapes a baby's mental health as they grow up. To have good mental health in infancy does not mean a baby is happy all the time. That's a myth. For a baby, it means learning that when I am upset, I can show this to my important person and they will see me, try to understand how I feel and try to help me with my feelings. If a baby has enough consistent experiences of being seen and feeling understood, then that lays the foundations for positive well-being and relationships. Babies need a healthy, positive and secure relationship with their parent in order to have good mental health. Just as we say there is no health without mental health, similarly there is no infant mental health without a secure relationship between baby and parent. To support a baby's mental health and their relationship with their parents, parents need to be supported too. So infant mental health focuses on both the social and emotional well-being of the infant and the well-being of parents and carers. So why is infant mental health so important? The foundations of our lifelong mental health and physical development are built in our first few years of life. Our early experiences shape our brain development. What happens in the first 1,001 days of life from the point of conception till the age of two is incredibly important. Children's brains develop fastest and they are at the most adaptable in the womb and early years of life. Babies' brain development is strongly influenced by their experience of the world and interaction with their parents or carers. This early development is associated with how well a child goes on to achieve many key outcomes that parents and society value. Our early experiences also shape our social and emotional development. In infancy and toddlerhood, we start to learn our sense of selves and who we are. We start to learn what different emotions are and how to manage and express these. We learn how to relate to people. We learn patterns such as how confident we are in exploring the world, safe in the knowledge that others are there to watch over us, enjoy it with us, help us if we need to. And we learn patterns of what we do when things get tricky or rough, how we show our feelings, if we ask for help or comfort or not, and if we're open to receiving that when it's offered. 
Being a parent is not always easy. There are so many stresses that can make it more difficult and many parents have had their own adverse experiences. Tackling adversity and supporting parents with these stresses is vital to the mental health of the whole family. Supporting parents to enable them to tune in and respond to babies' needs sensitively in a timely way will in turn support their baby's mental health and early development. So therefore, recognising the importance of an infant's mental health shines a light on the need to support babies and just as importantly, shines a light on the need to support their parents to help nurture secure and responsive relationships. We have a few take home messages. All babies have mental health. Babies can communicate their feelings through their behaviours, their body language, the sounds they make. Relationships are key. So infant mental health comes about through the quality and nature of their relationship with their key caregivers, usually their parents. Being consistent, sensitive and responsive is vital. The first 1001 days are crucial for emotional well-being and brain development. During this time, foundations are made for future emotional, social and cognitive development. And when supporting and promoting infant mental health, it is important to consider both the baby's emotional well-being and the parents' and carers' well-being. So finally, if you're interested to find out more, there are many websites you can visit. Two that we recommend are the Parent Infant Foundation and the First Thousand and One Days Movement. You can also follow us on Twitter at Fresh Cams and feel free to read tweet any posts that you are interested in.